Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to talk about the Marmite of the testosterone world and that's Sustanon. You either love it or you hate it. Uh, Sustanon is a blend of four different esters of different or varying lengths of ester side chains and we're going to see how that affects the release profile. So if you look behind me there's a lot of chemical formulas going on. Don't panic, everything will be explained. Okay, so if you ever learn one chemical structural formula in your life, learn this one because this is what you should really get used to. So this is the formula of testosterone. Okay, and we've even numbered the carbon atom. So number one is there and it goes all the way to carbon 18. So a few things that you need to look out for, carbon atom number three, this four to five, and most importantly, carbon 17, because this is where, at this bond, you're gonna see all the changes to the testosterone ester. So, quick review of what an ester is. So, you have this structural formula, and what we do is, this R represents the different groups that we add to change the ester. If we look at what's actually in Sustanon 250, we've got a blend of four testosterone esters. The first ester is testosterone propionate, then we've got testosterone phenyl propionate, testosterone isocaproate, and testosterone decanoate. And the theory is that this has a short chain, slightly longer chain, intermediate chain, long chain. So in the previous video, we learned that the size of the side chain, the ester side chain, determines the release profile. So initially we'll get a release of testosterone propionate when that's out of the system, then you get phenyl propionate, isocaprate, you get them, you get the idea. And in theory, they say 21 days. Well, let's see if that's actually what happens. So if we go to the first ester, testosterone propionate, Again, look, this is our testosterone molecule, and we've added this ester side chain. Propionate, prop, that uh, is, you've got meth, eth, prop. So that means three carbon atoms. That's the side chain here. And this is the release profile. So probably within 48 hours, that's out. The next one down is phenyl propionate. So we still got the propionate, three carbon atoms, but we've attached this phenyl group and that slightly prolongs the release profile there. Okay, so we're looking at, here we've got about five days, between five and 10 days. Okay, so we go to this next, the third ester, testosterone isocaprate. Here we've got this like intermediate size ester side chain, which produces this release profile in the three subjects. Just notice the different variability between each subject. That tells us that everyone genetically will react to a testosterone ester in different ways. So in this, this subject here, uh, the isocaprate lasted up until day 15. Then we get to the final ester, uh, and that is the decanoate. So in chemistry, so the name gives it away, gives away how many carbon atoms are in the chain. So DECA, and that stands for 10 carbon atoms in this chain. And that produces a greater release profile. Uh, again, you see a lot of variability in the three subjects, but overall, the decanoate in all three was present even in a small amount until about day 21, which is probably why they get that figure of 21 days. What does that mean when you put them all together? We actually dug, up, dug out a paper that actually looked at the actual release profile of Sustanon when you take each individual ester and you put them all together. And this is what they found. So in this range, this is a physiological range. So you, you get this steep, sharp rise, which goes over the physiological range and the gradual reduction into the physiological range. And you can see from day 14 to 21, 
very, very low levels. In our experience, most people, they start experiencing symptoms after day 10. So there you have it, the overall release profile when you put all those four esters together. That brings us to the end of another video. So about Sussanon, the Marmite of the testosterone world, you either love it or you hate it. Uh, one other thing, just to bear in mind with test, uh, Sussanon, the carrier oil is arachis oil. So if you're allergic to peanuts, obviously don't start injecting the stuff into you. So if you like the video, give us a like, uh, please subscribe to the, the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the, the comments and uh, Subscribe to us, like I said, because we'll try and bring you all the latest stuff that's happening in the TRT world. We'll try and dive down and look at the molecular level. And if you're in the Nuneaton area or West Midlands area, uh, log on to Pharmacy Republic Dakota UK and book your free TRT consultation. Thanks. See you next time.